Hey, sorry I'm late. It's okay. Would you like one? Uh, yeah, coffee, thanks. Sure. <clears throat> so. So is it true that some loan shark's got his claws into Ray? Yeah, looks that way. I knew he was overextended. He even bounced my last paycheck, but I never thought that he was involved with. How long have you known him? I've been training his horses for about three years. Thunder Road was his most promising. Remember I told you Thunder Road died of colic? Yeah. Well, I talked to a friend of mine who's a vet. There's something else that mirrors those same results. What's that? Electrocution. Really? That would leave a burn mark. Except you'd have a hell of a time finding one if it was done inside the ear. It's true. Uh, looks like somebody really knows what they're doing. He was a sweet horse. He loved his Cuba sugar in the morning. Loved to have his nose scratched. I'll bet you've been riding since before you could even walk. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what they say about a girl and her horse. No. What do they say? You should try riding one sometime instead of chowing down on it. Maybe you'll find out. Maybe I will. Maybe you should give me some lessons. Riding or eating? Maybe both. Uh, it looks like your friend Johnson may have lost his own horse. I thought the horse died of colic. Uh, electrocution mimics the same symptoms. Maybe Robbins did it. That doesn't track. It's Johnson's company that gets the insurance money if the horse dies. We're not talking horse feet here, either. How much? Almost half a mil. Whoa! That's what he uses to pay off Robbins. I don't know, man. This doesn't sound like Ray's M.O. at all. None of this does. No, he's obviously into horses, right? Mm -hmm. Which costs a bundle. He starts betting a little to try to catch up, gets in way over his head, goes to the wrong guy for the loan. Damn, killing his own horse. Doesn't sound right, man. That must be why he hooked up with Antonio. Who's that? It's the kid who made this. Johnson's assistant. Let me check it out. Kid's gonna give you a run for your money. I don't know about that. He's damn good, though. Yeah. Sounds like too little too late, though. Might be. Mac, this isn't just about Ray Johnson. I mean, he employs a lot of people in the community. If he goes down, he's going to take a lot of innocent families with him. You thirsty? No. You look thirsty. I'll get you something to drink. Thanks. Try it. It's a milkshake. What's the matter? You don't like milkshakes? No. Maybe if I put a little dirt in horse... How'd you find out? You think something like that's gonna stay quiet? It's all over the street. You're kind of a celebrity with the scumbag set. Bastard. Made me drink that. Help us out here, Ed. We can wax this guy. What are you gonna do? Put me in witness protection? Probably not. But if you help us nail him... Yeah, and while you're out nailing him... I'm drinking more milkshakes, but this time, at least with arsenic. No thanks. So then it never stops. There's nothing stops Robbins. He'll do whatever he has to. And so will I, to stay alive.
Uh-oh, here we go. Deja vu all over again. Yeah, well, deja vu will do that to you sometimes. Let me see if I can draw on some of our previous encounters. You don't know who this lady was that tried to garret you. You don't know who the smuggler was. And you're not really sorry that this guy is dead. He's good. That's what his wife says about him. But what about you? Come on, give us something. Talk to me, huh? Well, what don't you know? What did you miss? Well, you got some guy named Robbins who's a loan shark. And you got another guy who's into him for some big bucks. And here's the real deja vu part. No witnesses, no proof. All we got is a freaking dead horse. You believe it? Where'd you say this horse bought it? Clarington Stables. I know the land. It's owned by an old bootlegger named Jimmy Lasker. It's a funny thing. The feds never caught this son of a bitch. You believe it? Bootlegger? Yeah. Kind of reminds you of somebody, doesn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, you. Ah. Come on. Get your ass out of here. Go ahead. I hear I almost got to visit your murder scene the other day. Ricky and Ellen DeMarco. Yeah, it's a lovely couple, isn't it? Mm-hmm. mead would Ricky about an hour ago. But uh, wifey's still at large. Husband and wife hit team. It's a hell of a way to keep a marriage together. <laughs> well, whoever hired them wants you very dead. Yeah, it's got to be Robbins. Without Johnson's testimony that Robbins is leaning on him, we got enough. I, mean, I gotta be an idiot. You just figuring that out? This whole thing started with a murder, right? Yeah, the horse. It gives us a murder scene. Hmm. Richard DeMarco. Massive head trauma. Brain looks like a squash melon. Thanks for sharing. He's got personal effects. Yeah, over on the table there. Help yourself. Bootleggers used to own this property. So? So they used to dig tunnels to escape the feds. Trust me, there's no tunnel under Thunder Road stall. At least it was worth a try. Yes. Yes. You have a flashlight? 